Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shweta Jain from Aymanta Hospital and today I am going to talk about dilated pupils. Have you ever wondered why your pupil dilates? First, let me tell you what a pupil is. The pupil is the black and round part of our eye that exists in the center, which reacts or changes its size according to the amount of light that is entering the eye. The size of your pupil is controlled by tiny muscles in the colored part of the eye called iris and the amount of light reaching your eyes. In bright light, your pupil constricts, gets smaller to prevent too much light from entering your eye. In dim lighting, your pupil dilates, get larger to allow more light in. Normal pupil size generally ranges from 2 to 4 mm in bright light and 4 to 8 mm in the dark. To some degree, the pupil size tends to get smaller with age. So this was general intro. Now let's dive deep into the dilated eyes. Today in this video, I will tell you what is pupil dilation? What are the causes of pupil dilation? What are the symptoms of pupil dilation? When should you consult a doctor? And how do we treat this problem? So let's begin with understanding what pupil dilation is. What is pupil dilation? If your pupil are significantly larger than the averages, you have dilated pupil. A dilated pupil can sometimes still react to light, that is, get smaller in bright light or when a light is shined at the eye. But typically, dilated eyes don't respond normally to light. It is also known as midriasis in medical terms. What are the causes of pupil dilation? Your pupil can dilate due to many reasons. Let's understand them in details. Certain medications. Some of the medications either prescribed or non-prescribed can cause the problem of dilated pupil or affects its overall ability to react to light. This may include decongestants used in cold and cough, antihistaminics, anti nausea medications, tricyclic antidepressants, motion sickness medicines, medications for Parkinson's disease, anti seizure drugs. Botulinum toxin containing medications including Botox and Atropin, which is used for controlling myopia and other medical purposes. Next cause would be injury or disease related to the brain. Every organ in our body is connected to brain. An injury on the head, stroke or brain tumor can affect the ability of your pupil to react to light. It can result in causing pupil dilation and may affect one or both the eyes. Eye injury. An eye surgery is associated with causing serious damage to your iris and make your pupil appear dilated or irregular in shape. Various eye surgeries such as corneal transplant, cataract surgery can lead to a problem where your iris can get damaged and cause pupil dilation. Drug consumption. Various studies say that alcohol and various drugs including marijuana are responsible for reducing the eye's ability to react to bright light and adapt itself according to the change in light. Right after drug ingestion, the effect can last for around 2 hours. There are various other drugs that can result in making your pupil appear dilated and decrease your eye ability to react to light. These may include LSD, amphetamines, MDMA and cocaine. Benign episodic unilateral midiasis. During this condition, you may experience a series of sudden pupil dilation along with blurred vision, headaches and eye pain. Women having migraines are at higher risk of developing benign episodic unilateral midiasis. According to the studies, the average duration of this condition can be around 12 hours. In addition to this, the problem can occur around 2 to 3 times per month. The condition is harmless and can resolve after some time, making your pupil return to original size and proper function without any medication or treatment. AD's pupil. 
It is a rare neurological disorder, which can also be termed as AD's tonic pupil or tonic pupil. It generally involves making one of your pupil appear larger than the other and affects the ability of your pupil to react to light. The cause of AD's tonic pupil is still unknown. However, according to studies, it might be a result of surgery, trauma, infection or poor blood circulation. Congenital aniridia. This is a rare condition when a person is born with partially or completely absent iris, resulting in a very large pupil. Aniridia usually affects both eyes and is accompanied by other serious eye problems such as congenital cataract, glaucoma, incomplete development of retina and optic nerve, nystagmus and decreased visual acuity. Because there is little or no iris to regulate the amount of light entering the eye, people with aniridia are very sensitive to light. Symptoms of pupil dilation When the pupils are dilated, the eyes become more sensitive to light. This can lead to blurry vision as well as, in some cases, a general feeling of constriction around the forehead and eyes. Some individuals may also experience headache, dizziness, eye irritation and have trouble sleeping along with mediasis. So now, let's discuss when is it necessary to consult a doctor. If you or someone else notices you have dilated pupil or one of your pupil looks larger than the other after head trauma, seek medical attention immediately. The same is true if you experience sudden dizziness, headache, confusion, balance problems or other symptoms of a possible stroke. Apart from this, if you notice a dilated pupil after you have started taking one of the medications noted above, call your prescribing doctor for advice. In cases other than those described above, call your eye doctor immediately for advice if you notice your pupils are dilated without any underlying reason, especially if it comes on suddenly. Till now, we have discussed the definition, causes and symptoms of dilated pupil. Now let's move forward to treatment. To start with, first let's talk about the ways you can manage the symptoms of dilated pupil. Avoid direct sunlight. Don't drive, especially during the day. Use sunglasses in bright environments. And avoid reading text too close to your eyes. If you need to take some medicines which can cause your pupils to dilate, talk to the prescribing doctor and see if it can be taken before sleeping. The purpose to do that would be its action will wean off by the time you wake up and are ready to go. Fortunately, there are some treatment options for dilated pupil, including Photochromatic lenses automatically darkens outside in the daylight and lightens up inside the darker condition. These may help facilitate the dilation process so your pupil adjusts easier. Polarized sunglasses can protect your eyes from intense light condition. They reduce the glares from the surface like water, snow, asphalt and sheet metal by filtering out specific wavelengths. Specially colored contact lenses, which improve cosmetic appearances and vision by reducing the amount of light entering the eye. If you have midriasis caused by a traumatic brain injury or eye damage, your case may require surgery to repair any damage done. If your dilated pupils are a side effect of a substance abuse, you may consider rehabilitation. Midriasis can be a result of many different causes. It's important to see your doctor if your dilated pupil persists. The underlying cause may range from less serious such as medication side effect to more serious such as brain trauma or nerve damage. Typically, the sooner you discover the cause, the better. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you liked the video, then hit the subscribe button and let us know your views in the comment section below. Thank you.